Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. Today we are going to see how to change the color of a game object during runtime using script. I have a cube in my scene, so I'm going to change the color of my cube from black to white during runtime. Let's select the cube and add a script to it. I'm going to call the script color change. New script, create an add. To change the color of a game object, you have to change it from the renderer. So the cube has a mesh renderer. So depending on what renderer you have, you have to access the render component and then assign the color to the material. Now let's open the script in Visual Studio. Okay, I don't need the update function because I'm going to change the color only once. So first thing is to declare a variable of type renderer, renderer, let's call it ren. Next in the start function, you have to get the component. So is equal to get components, renderer. So now you have taken the renderer component of the cube and assigned it to the variable ren. Now you can just say ren dot material dot color is equal to so you can just say color dot and you can just select whatever color you want so i'm going to select white so this will change my cube from black to white so let's go back to unity and let's play the game so the cube will change from black to white So it's as simple as that, but there are a few more options to change the color. Like for example, you can also say material dot set color. And inside this, you have to give a string name, which will be the color property of the shader. So it's underscore color. And then you have to give the color value that is with color dot white. Let's go to Unity and see what it does. So that also works. Another option is using the RGB value. So if you're going to use the RGB value, then in place of color dot white, you can give a vector four. Uh, the first three values are the RGB and the fourth one is the alpha. So it's one comma one comma one comma one. So this also does the same thing. So let's check it out. So there you go. So there are two ways to set the color. One is using material dot set color. The other is using material dot color. And the value you can either give the RGB value or you can just use the inbuilt colors in Unity using color dot white, black, or whatever color you want. So that's it for changing the color. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.